Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Dwarves, Glory, Death, and Loot. This is, uh, well, I, just to be clear, I uh, received a code from the dev. Thank you very much, dev. I really appreciate you. Um, this is a rogue-ish. Listen, listen. I'm so tired. I, I, I don't know how genres work anymore. So it's roguish. Uh, take exactly what that means to you uh however you want <laughs> but you know it's got it's got permadeath we're not going to do the tutorial no um but it's a, a rogue-ish kind of um almost like incremental uh idler it's not really an idler but it's an auto battler it's an auto battler with uh, a little bit less uh kind of hands-on uh play to play we'll, we'll kind of go through it it's it's got some interesting stuff going on i actually really like the short amount of time i've, I've spent with it um, and, uh, this is the kind of game you can actually sink a lot of time into, but not like proactive time, if that makes sense. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy, we're going to buy an assassin blade and I'm going to buy a dwarf. And this is our first battle. Kind of wouldn't mind re-rolling so we can get another dwarf. Um, so this is what we're doing is we're buying dwarves. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our team. So here's our team of little dwarves and uh we've got our assassin's blade uh i'm gonna throw that on i guess we don't have to throw it on our front line but i get i think it's just objectively better and then we're gonna give them not a shield because they can't have a shield and a dagger and that's it and um i can like set up the order of dwarves but mostly that's kind of as much like we'll, we'll get into some of the other like mechanics later but we're gonna go into a battle i'll go into an easy battle just to make sure i don't lose on the first on the first uh you know battle on it's not likely to happen but it might happen you never know um so you know this is our auto battle kind of gameplay they just kind of shove into the the enemies there are melee there are ranged units they'll gain experience we'll get some loot and um and then you know like kind of repeat ad finitum a little bit there's a little you know a few things change we're gonna we'll, we'll look at that so we can like look at our shop here at the shop we'll be able to upgrade our shop tier um that kind of dictates how um like how good of items we will get from our rolls uh so let's see you can significantly upgrade your chance to find better items yeah so like actually does that mean I think that means like items that we get um from our our main role here so like from this we're just getting like tier one items so you want to spend uh you want to spend some money to upgrade the shop so that you can find better items you can uh, properly upgrade your dwarves and then you can like shove them in the into higher tier battles i'm gonna buy a better helmet and i'm gonna throw it on this guy and we got this cool wizard staff we're gonna put that on a backline unit and then we're gonna jump into another battle. I'll jump into a harder battle. Uh, we can sell these, by the way. I don't know, like, I almost kind of wish if it was like a zero tier item, just like auto sell it. Cause there's no, there's no reason for me to keep that. Maybe I can disassemble it later. I don't know. Um, and yeah, we won. Uh, honestly, like this is the kind of like in the, in the early game, you can, you can be very bold and jump into like extremely high tier combats. I'll buy this divine staff. Uh, I would love to buy this or recruit this dwarf, but I, I'm not going to be able to. That's fine. Uh, Divine Staff is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to uh, make it so that this dwarf will heal other dwarves. And I'll dispense with a shield. We could sell it, but this guy's going to have like our buster sword here, basically. And we'll jump into another combat. To war. Go, my dwarves. Uh, we can speed this up as well. You can really speed this up. And I appreciate that, right? Like, this is this is the kind of game where something like that matters. The quality... The devil's in the details. The devil is in the quality of life features. IMO. So we're just going to jump, jump into a bunch of battles. We're going to do this a couple times until we um, uh, can afford to, like, uh, upgrade our, our combats, upgrade... Like, when you upgrade the shop, I'm pretty sure it also upgrades the combats, but it might just be dictated by based on, like, how many uh, combats we win. So once we start to win a few games, then they, they're, you know, very predictably going to send in harder combats. But it doesn't seem to be the case so far. You can also... You can see um, 
at the top there that'll sh sort of show you how the battle's going in very like layman's terms okay this is this seems like a harder battle and in fact it's offering higher xp uh i'll buy this helmet and i'm gonna throw that on our dwarf probably the front line and then we'll give this one to the back line these uh these sh helmets and stuff do provide different kind of stats for what they're doing like melee range and stuff but i'm i'm playing this very quick just to kind of like get through to some of the later game mechanics so i'm gonna pick the highest xp combat here i think we can handle it um because honestly when you get your first divine rod like it it's it, uh it's very good early game because being able to heal your units i'll slow this down a little bit um being able to heal your units is like so stupidly powerful it becomes less powerful later though so uh we could disassemble that but that's okay so that was like our first like major combat um what i'd like to do we don't have enough to yeah we'll just have to do another combat so we can um upgrade our shop oh fast forward this i do really like that feature because like you know, with auto battlers, I think that it sometimes it does matter to like watch the battle and see how it's going. And in, like in this, it does matter as well, because like you, you know, we might not be winning, right? We're not going to be steamrolling forever. So I could I might want to retire our dwarves because if we lose them all, the game is over. Right. Um, so we have 800. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade our shop. So the next upgrade is going to be 1200. We can buy these as well. I haven't had enough to buy these and I don't know if I necessarily want to, but they might be really good. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these. They says they're locked. Becomes available when corresponding skill is unlocked in the skill tree. Oh, well, that's right. We have a skill tree as well. So let's have a look at that. So we can see here, these are, um, I, I believe this is actually our meta progression because um, these are upgraded from a previous run. So that's our meta progression and these will uh, you know increase over time skill point gem cost so we get gems we have 10 gems right now so we could like can we throw in no we can't oh wait we have zero skill points my bad um so we could buy a point uh ah, i see so it's four four gems to buy one skill point so i could buy one more can i no i can't oh no now it's <laughs> i'm getting a lot of things wrong my apologies um, all right, so let's go ahead and like throw this into priest knowledge uh, And that's gonna make it so maybe our heals are a little bit better. Yeah increased healing and Then um, let's go back to the halls and then we have things like Well formation we already know but we can also forge some things So this this allows it so that like we can take these three spears and then hammer them and so you, you take three items of the same tier and then you have a chance of getting a higher tier so we actually got a quite a nice archer uh weapon here so i guess that's why you wouldn't want to like automatically throw away a tier one item right so we'll go ahead and take those three tier one items and then we'll get a wow an actually like uncommon wizard cap we'll take these three items they don't have to be the same and we'll throw them in the hammer and we'll get a knight shoulder so there's a there's a you know mechanics for like dispensing with items you don't want anymore we'll take this we'll put it on that guy so he's got better Greaves, we'll take this, we'll put it on that guy, and he'll have a better, uh, I, I hope, better um, means of casting spells. And if I had another dwarf, um, it would be really, no, I don't even have enough to buy another dwarf. So we'll do this 500 XP, and I'm going to play it slower, and just kind of gauge how things going. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine. We're, we're going to steamroll this. And that's why I say healing is like so powerful. Bah, 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 bah. all right we got some loot this is mithril can be used in the forge i'm pretty i'm not exactly sure how that works but i'm pretty sure it means that we can substitute that um for an item so we can like forge things even if we don't have enough to to you know make a thing um these are like a major item these are ones you, like you're going to want to put them on a front line maybe uh negative five speed 15 weight earn 30 gold for each level the wearer has upon level up so this one will give us more gold, which would be nice. Um, ne less speed, more weight, gain plus one strength on level up. So that's good to get early and put on a user that you want to increase their strength. Restores 50% health when falling below 25% health. Become drunk for 10 seconds. You One use per battle, gain plus one permanent whiz on use. Ah, that's interesting. Actually, it would be kind of interesting to like take this, put it on our priest, and yeah you only get to pick one of those 
and then put them on the front line <laughs> or at least closer to the front line um so that they potentially take some damage we could put them in the front line and then uh, they'll be gaining wisdom which i hope is better is good for um healing it might not be yeah i think it would be i think it would be um and did we make we made some gold can we get another dwarf we can buy a copper shoulder sure we'll buy that uh i would really like i would really like a dwarf there we go there's a dwarf and we're gonna give them a ranged weapon and we'll give them some greaves and we also have enough to forge a weapon so let's go ahead and take these three because okay Mithril can be used in Forge. Click to combine four into next rarity. Oh, I see. Well, we'll take these three tier one items. We'll make a new item. We got some Greaves. Nice. Uh, we only have one of these, so we can't combine them. I'm not sure how the, the, the little ores work yet, but I think that's why I, I am like, I'm into this is like, there's a, there's more going on than just like, oh yeah, like smash your dwarves into enemies like repetitively it's not it's not repetitive in the you know because you're you actually have stuff you can you can plan in between games and um yeah the auto battle it's almost in circumstantial like you could you could i could honestly have a mode where it's like just tell me if i win like don't even you don't have to worry worry if i lose or not like just tell me if i win Ooh, we got a divine crown that'll help for our priest i assume um i am like really not paying attention to stats which uh you know i hope if the dev is watching they're not like cringing like oh he's, he's not even reading what how the game works and uh, that's gonna cost them later but i am playing on a very surface level like oh yeah that looks like something that would work on a on a priest so i'm gonna go ahead and give that to the priest and i mean things are working out for me you can't say they're not working out for me right now We've got a good range. We've got the healing is working really well. I don't know if our uh, priest ever fell below a certain amount. We got a cool assassin's dagger. Um, we don't have enough to upgrade our shop yet. We have a better daggers. Oh, that guy can hold two daggers. I didn't know that. That's cool. So he's going to hopefully be able to do more damage now. Oh, it's, it's, this is working out really well, actually. I mean, like, this game, it's addictive, you know, like, uh, even, I say I don't need to see the battles, but honestly, it's, it's fun, like, this is what kind of drew me towards the game in the first place, is, like, this is a really simple kind of animation, a really easy, simple way of conveying this. I'd love to see, uh, honestly, like, I, I like roguelikes, but I would not, honestly, I would love to see this game, like, a mode that makes it kind of like Mountain Blade, uh, style, where, like, you've got a full map, and uh you know you like oh go and attack that village because they've got some good loot and then you have like a little auto battle and it would like tell you the risks and and challenges of that and like i think that would be really really cool uh i know it's, it's more ambitious but and, and like i like this as well but i i love this idea of like this little kind of simple skirmish um and then like extrapolating that to some kind of like grand world uh scale Let's see, or, um, I do have enough to upgrade our shop, so I will buy that. And I can upgrade this while the bar is fully charged. You can retreat from battle by clicking on the white flag. You gain one charge per victory, can buy the remaining charges here. Okay, so yeah, so you, like, I can retire. Um, there's, n as far as I can tell, I might be really wrong about this, but I couldn't really know, I didn't notice if there was any penalization or, like, consequences for retiring um early from a combat like if you if you run from a combat if you see that things are going badly i mean i think the worst thing that happens is that you don't get your loot and you don't uh i don't know if you uh, you might even still get some experience oh look they've got some priests now so they're kind of it's an arms race race it's an arms race dwarven dual axe i mean that seems cool let's buy that and then let's give it to this guy I'm still putting the priest in the front line. That's probably dangerous. Um, I'll reroll. I kind of want a harder combat. Yeah, let's do this one. Smack, smack, smack. I was just like up to to highest speed. This is actually going much better than uh, the first couple of games I played. 
maybe I'm, I wasn't playing very well. You know what? We do have some money. I think it's probably a bad idea. Uh, we'll try it. Oh, 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 oh. It's a little bit more evenly matched now. Let's slow, let's slow it down. Oh, this could go either way. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on. Did we drink, did, did my priest drink the brew? My priest, I think, did drink the brew and got upgraded. We yeah, wisdom plus one, nice. Oh, maybe they just got that naturally. You have some stats here as well, like how much damage are they doing? This guy did, got four kills. This guy died. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no consequences for a dwarf dying. Maybe they don't get as much XP. These are questions I have, but I have done zero digging into uh, whether or not they're true or not, which is why I am a professional YouTuber. Um, let's have a quick look at the halls and like our forge. So we can throw these three items in there and hammer that out. Ooh, a banner of war. We, I'd like to give that to someone. Um, we can click these. Combine, can be used in the forge. Click to combine four. Oh, you need four of them. Okay. Um, we do, uh, this is only an uncommon banner. Can we re-roll a couple times and try and get another dwarf? Ooh, let's buy that. Um, wouldn't mind having some better armor. Aha, dwarf. Dwarf. Okay, we're gonna give them the banner. Um, what is the banner? I, I would, like, what does the banner need? Is the thing. It's stamina, wisdom, speed, ultimate inspire. I don't know if, um, I'm not sure how the stats really affect things. So I'll just give him a dwarven helmet. And I don't think he can hold anything else. It would be good if he had some greaves. In fact, I think there's a couple of uh, dwarves missing some greaves. Um, let's check out the forge and throw these three uncommon items in there. And maybe we'll get a rare item. Nope. We did not get a rare item. That's fine. Um, let's re-roll the shop a couple times and see if we can't get some armor. Well, there's another dwarf. I may as well buy the dwarf. Uh, and I'll give them this and this and put them closer to the front line. And we'll just shift everyone back a bit. I do kind of wish you could like click and drag things. I, I, I wish like... If I have any critique or criticism to offer the game, I, I kind of wish some of the interface was a, a little bit cleaner. It's not even that it's bad. It's just that I, I think that it could be juiced up a little bit um, just to make the in-between combats feel a little uh, more pleasant, uh, to put it like super bluntly. But I don't think that that's like a make or break or anything. That's just like, a, I think it would benefit um, the game and the, the kind of user experience. Um, all right, we're just going to continue. I I'm, I'm going to be training up my level one dwarves for a little bit. Smack, smack, smack. Go, go dwarves. Dig deep. Smack, 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 smack. They're, they're really steamrolling. Did I, did my couple dwarves, no, they, they're, they're leveling up. They're level two now. We got some greaves. That's good. Ooh, new item. Restores six percent of max HP and removes one arrow every two seconds. Gains one stamina on level up, or negative speed, more weight, gain one strength on level up. Five percent chance to poison on attack. Apply an additional stack of poison on single target ultimate. Gain plus one gain. I like this one, but this one is apparently rare. I wouldn't mind taking this, and then I'm gonna throw that on our like beefiest dwarf so like like this guy here oh he's only level two. Oh, interesting we should throw it on this guy and then move him up a bit and we should take this and put it on a dwarf and also i noticed there's some more greaves in the store so we'll take those and like give you know give people some uh some this i think this is better what is this wisdom intelligence so it increased their wisdom and intelligence. That's going to be better for them, I assume. Uh, and then we'll just kind of shift things around a little bit. You do have a nice little readout here that tells you like the rarity of the item they're holding. Um, 
so some of them it looks like some of them could use a secondary weapon and they don't have a secondary weapon or maybe when it's darkened like that it means they can't have a secondary weapon i'm i'm very much like kind of like grasping at you know the interface for uh you know reads on some stuff like that so i think we're good i, I certainly feel pretty good about our setup right now kill dead nice level up uh ooh, we got a hammer of wrath no ultimate ultimate is uh exactly what you think it is by the way like occasionally they will throw it out like i believe yeah the dagger has a dancing dagger ultimate so like uh how much i think it's it's reliant on stamina maybe um so like they will like throw it out occasionally based on like how much stamina they have so if you put stack stamina then they can do the ultimate a lot so you can like you could i i'm not um you'll have to forgive me for that but i like you can really get into the minutia of like the stats and like really strategize how uh you're setting up your dwarves and do a bit more uh be a bit more methodical than i am what is instructions place any item on the anvil oh place three copies of the same item including rarity on the ingredient slots mithra ore of the same rarity can replace any ingredient item ah that's what i thought <laughs> pay the hammer fee to upgrade the item on the anvil pay the hammer fee to upgrade the item on the anvil so like what if i oh i can put this here oh i can upgrade items oh the game has changed <laughs> what so wait a minute um let's like let's let's uh think about this i i really like the i wish i could like grab oh i guess we have this um divine staff is that the same as what they're using yeah it is so let's let's um go to the forge and then put this here and then improve this oh and we get to pick what it does oh my god i that really it really pays to to uh read the instructions huh um how come we can't hammer it again is it because it requires um or that i don't have or maybe it can only be upgraded once i'm a little bit confused on that one but it's still better than what we were currently using um we could do that we could do a round robin honestly let's like go to let's upgrade that take this upgrade that no we can't upgrade that i'm assuming it's because we don't have enough ore but i'm not seeing like hammer cost upgrade i'm not seeing a a, a readout or a like it's not telling me what I'm missing and why I can't upgrade it. So I, I like, you know, I'm, I'm a, I'm a big dummy. Uh, you know, like I get these things wrong, but I wouldn't mind, um, maybe a bit better kind of like readability. Like, uh, maybe, um, just like tell me why I can't do that. Even if it's written down somewhere, just like, oh, you, you do not have enough Vespine gas to upgrade that weapon. Stupid, dumb idiot. Don't, don't, don't do that. No one will, no one will thank you for that. So let's just do a couple combats. I'm feeling pretty good about our loadout and we seem to be steamrolling really, really well. We got a couple of banners. Um, we might have enough to upgrade the store pretty soon. Wow. We are steamrolling real hard. Uh, I'll buy those night shoulders. We can upgrade the store. We can almost, well, we couldn't upgrade it twice at all, but yeah, it's just like, let's just steamroll for a little bit. See where we get to. See if we unlock something new. Um, I'm just going to take like the biggest battles. Why have you given me your biggest battles? You are my tiniest dwarves. Go and dig my deepest holes. uh all right we've got we're getting some i assume that's like is that adamantine tell me that's adamantine oh it's just good <laughs> it's just good oh uh, that's that's funny okay so like if we throw these three okay okay what if i can i click on this 
Click to combine four into next rarity. I'm a little bit confused about how forging works. Just a little bit. I am sure it's very clear and I'm just a, uh, a big dummy, but uh, it's it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm figuring things out. Let's uh, upgrade. I, I do appreciate this because at least then I can very like at a glance like, okay, they could use better greaves. Um, all right, let's do a couple more combats. Getting a little bit more evenly paced. Uh, having another dwarf would be good. We might as well buy some equipment. So let's kit, kit them up a bit. Honestly, having another mage wouldn't be a bad idea. And, well, uh, we do have, like, an actual helmet. I assume it's going to be better for, like, being tanky. Um, our, the level one dwarves we bought ages ago have already leveled up to, like, seven, which is kind of astounding to me. Can they have another thing in their other hand? No, they can't. Okay, let's uh, continue. Oh, wait a minute. We can upgrade the store again. Might be, there might be good reasons not to do that. Okay, so there's, ah. So we this tells us we have a 13% chance of getting rare and now we have a 1.5% chance of getting epic items in the store. So there are reasons to um, buy upgrade the store and i have to assume that that doesn't that isn't just upgrading the battles because it would be kind of brutal if in order to upgrade the store you're also making the game more challenging i have to assume that the battles get more challenging based on uh how many battles you've done maybe i'm wrong about that i don't know um you have a common bow so an uncommon bow is actually going to be very good Let's go back to the forge, throw these three things in there, and hammer. Um, and yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a red mission. I don't know, it's, it's hard because it's red, you know, like... Take that out of context. Ooh, Spirit of the Kakapo. Isn't the Kakapo... There was like a whole... I seen... Uh, what's his name? Douglas Adams did like... Didn't Douglas Adams do like a whole like talk about the kakapo bird and it's like one of these birds that is like evolved very strange mating rituals and and there's so like there's so many hoops to jump through that there's basically only a hundred of these things le left like they're technically on a severely endangered list but like that's by design isn't that the kakapo i might be completely wrong about that but i'll take that we take those Whatever that is. Assassin's Razor. We'll take those as well. Okay, so the next mission is going to be challenging. We've got Zenath the Defiler and Elite Orc. But, you know, we should be okay, maybe? Uh, you know what we could do is... Um, let's take this and this and this and throw it in the forge and see if we get a rare item. Ooh, Electric Staff. There we go. Can we upgrade that? Oh, I wish we I wish I understood how to upgrade things. Do I have to like click on no. It might be that I need like a certain number of rare material to do it. Can I upgrade this? Nope. Um okay. Formation. Oh, this is interesting. I haven't even looked at this. Requirements have all base professions in your clan. Effects increases main attributes of all clan members by 15%. Oh, so this is like your synergies. Like if you have like a formation of all priests, then you get a benefit. Free for all. Every dwarf will run as fast as they can. Or strength in numbers. Dwarves that are too far away from the clan center will reduce their speed. So I can like switch to that. Or phalanx. The speed of each dwarf is capped by the dwarf in front of him. The speed adjustment will be applied once at the start of battle. Let's try that. And then what is this? Berserkers have at least three two-handed melee weapon users in your clan. Effect, all two-handed melee users gain plus five, 8% to parry chance. Well, I could possibly do that. Two-handed melee users. Warrior, War Priest, and Reaper. What do I have right now? Um... Is this a two-handed? I don't think it is. Oh, well, I want to swap this out. Let's put that in there. 
Oh, that, okay. So the wizard staff is two-handed. That much is true. What is the spirit of the kakapo? Let's put that in there. So like if I was to swap that out, is that three now? Now do I have three two-handed? No, and I've also lost my ragtag. <laughs> okay. Um, do I get my ragtag back now? Formation. Yes. Increase Bane attributes of all clan members by 15. Okay, so, you know, trial by error, I will eventually learn. Um, there's a, apparently a tavern. Win more battles to unlock the hall. Okay. So let's do a hard mission and give it our, give it our best go. We'll do, we'll do times three speed. Oh yeah, this is going well. That, uh, electric staff is doing work. I can see that. We'll see exactly how much damage it did, but I feel like it's going to be a lot. New hall, uh, unlock storage. In this hall, you can store additional items. So, um, well, it wasn't as good as I thought. I mean, uh, our, our priests did a lot of support, as did our banner. Our glorier, our strength warrior, uh, got four kills and did a ton of damage, as did our assassin. Um... So, but everyone, you know, pulled their weight. Bow of the Sun Archer. I mean, yeah, we'll take that. Unique. In battle, raises the speed of the wearer to be on par with the fastest ally. Plus 30 elemental resistances when taking fatal damage for the first time in battle will instead remove all debuffs and become immune for three seconds. Or plus five. Yeah, okay. Let's take the Boots of Speed. That seems really good. We'll buy this. I'm going to start buying items purely to, like throw them in the forge I think is probably a pretty valid uh thing to do we'll take this and I'm gonna go ahead and like throw this on I don't know our other warrior of strength and we're gonna take this and throw that on there and let's go and forge some stuff boop 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 hammer oh uh, we got another spear to the kakapo what happens if we can we Oh, I see. I think I see. So I guess when you're forging, you need enough material of the of the ore, and then you can upgrade that item. So you need like, you you need the exact same item, and then oh, okay, and then we can. Oh no, I just combined it by accident. Oh, but it says I can hammer this now. So if I hammer this, did I did I mess it up? Yeah, I did mess it up. I think I could have hammered it if I hadn't clicked on this and turned it into a rare mithril, but that's fine. Um, I think I am getting uh, an idea of how that works now. Steamroll! Obliterate them! Support is doing really good work. Um, again, I'll just kind of start buying things. Oh, we got another dwarf. I wouldn't mind having another dwarf. Like, we could re-roll a couple times and see if we could get another dwarf. Oh, another kakapo. So we could upgrade that soon, maybe? Yeah, I, I think that this is the way to play the game. <laughs> just, like, just, like, buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, and then like start combining things. So like if we go now, if we go to the forge and we throw this in here and we throw this in here and that in there, and now it lets us hammer it. We can upgrade this mana regen or crit chance. Let's do like mana regen. Cause I assume it's going to use mana. I might be completely wrong about that. And then, okay. So like what, if we wanted to upgrade this, yeah, you need the exact item. And since it's a green one, we need more material. So we need like two of these in order to make it. If we could, I wonder if we can like disassemble items. It doesn't seem like we can. We can sell them. <laughs> there's a left hand, there's a left handed like, oh, okay, that's weird. What is this? Razor off hand, main hand. Huh, interesting, okay. Okay, so there's there's interesting things going on here. Uh, there's like you know, there's more depth than than you might imagine. Like from just the face of this, there's there's a lot going on. Um, wouldn't mind having a better priest hat, 
this guy in the back could definitely use some kind of hat. Oh, there we go. Copper helmet. Classic. And we're going to give this assassin mask to the dual wielding dagger dude. Can we give him this? We can, but it, there's no point. Um, is this better? No, it's not. It's actually worse in some ways. Wait, what is this? Oh, that's better though. Okay, cool. Um, all right, this is a good arrangement. Let's go and do some combats. This is 1700 experience. Max, 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 max. Kill, 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 kill. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. Uh oh, we're losing. We're losing. Uh, retreat. Three, two, one. Okay, there's our first retreat. That's what that looks like. It's only uh, really bad if you lose all your dwarves. If you lose some of them, they come back right away. I don't think they lose anything. I think it's like, totally fine. Um, by the way, this uh, the, the, when these glow up here, uh, like when they're yellow, that just tells me that they're going to level up at the, the end of this combat. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, we are uh, not like steamrolling is, is like readily anymore. Which is a little bit scary. Let's reroll. Oh, can we upgrade the shop? No, we can't. Shop tier is five. We can start. We can just buy some stuff. I wouldn't mind buying another dwarf if it, if it becomes available. Ooh, uh, it was a ranger like quiver. I haven't seen that before. We can throw that on this dude so that's instead of a uh instead of greaves we got another assassin's mask we also got another uh kakapo spirit of the kakapo does anyone have like not great greaves yeah a couple people have not great greaves so let's throw that on there throw that on there um a couple people could use some better a better mask or helmet this would be slightly better but they'd lose a lot of weight and I assume weight means that that's like pushback. That's kind of what I uh, take to mean. So then let's go to the forge. I, I, can I like control click? I think I just accidentally sold that. What, what, do, what does shift clicking do? It just seems to disappear and I get nothing. I, I wonder if this actually does like nothing. I thought that oh no it does give you have a chance to give you a higher tier item okay that's good to know that's the only thing i care about if there's a chance that this is helpful then i, I will buy these items for i don't think that this is a good use of our money though i think it might be a better use to buy uncommon items with the uh, uh potential to like upgrade them and in fact we could like so i could take this Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, oh, I, I do. So then I could take this and go um, like stamina, mana regen seems like a good one. So we'll do that. And that did use up our mithril, our common mithril. Okay, so that's good to know. Um, and then I like put this in reserve so that maybe if we have enough of these good spirit of the kakapo, I could potentially upgrade the one we've got. In fact, let's just... Uh, have a quick look at that. I might already have enough. So let's go to the forge, put this in here, throw that in there. No, I need, I think I need one more good mithril to, to make it viable. So we'll go back to the dwarves and I'll throw this back on there. Uh, double check. Yeah, these are both basically the same. And let's do uh, let's do a 1400 experience. We're not doing as well as we were. We're not steamrolling, but we're still pretty strong. I do think that um, the important thing is to like really do a bit of micromanagement in between rounds. I should start disassembling and selling, maybe. I'll see what that does because it could be that we getting more ore would be much better than getting like more common items. Because the loot we're getting from these guys is not very valuable. So let's try disassemble and sell. I don't know. I don't know what that did. I think we got a bit of extra money. 
Max, 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 Max. Kill, 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 kill. Dwarf, 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 dwarf. Cool. Got a hammer of wrath, and uh, we don't quite have enough. Ooh, divine, rare divine staff. We don't quite have enough to um, upgrade our store. We're getting there, though. It's going well. It's going well. It was a good steamroll. I'm sure what you like, if you really sat down and thought about it, um, you could probably also gauge what kind of like team you're going up against. And then like, oh yeah, this is a range team. So they're going to stomp me. Whereas this is a melee team. So I'm going to stomp them. Like you could do that. I kind of wish if it, that was a intended mechanic that it was like, okay, this is the melee team. And this is a range team or like, give me a better idea. I know it shows me the silhouettes, but it's kind of difficult for me to ascertain what some of these things mean. I can look at them for sure, but like, you know, this is the kind of game I think is going to benefit mostly from like playing very casually. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that. You know, I don't, I, I'm just, uh, I'm honestly just thinking about how I would play the game. Um, so let's take this divine staff. Can we upgrade this now? I can throw this in there. Honestly, you know, what would be nice is if we could um upgrade this can we throw it doesn't look like we can take yeah we can't throw any of those in we've almost got enough rare but anyway uh we do have a rare one now so we'll put that there and then we can come back to that later maybe um we'll do a couple more battles maybe just like one more let me try and make it a good one. Oh, i can't re oh i'm out of money haha <laughs> okay so it begins. Smack, 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 smack. Wow, that was fast. Ooh, we got our first epic mithril. Okay, so disassembling does give you a chance to get some more ore. That's good to know. We'll buy that because I could maybe upgrade our our staff later. Ooh, they're pushing us back quite a bit. But we're still kind of destroying them. Uh oh. They did some damage. I was a little bit more even keeled. Oh, I, I should yeah, I should have disassembled. That's fine. Bulwark. A shield. We'll grab that. Oh, we'll grab the Spirit of the Kakapo. I don't know why I'm like very glommed onto the Spirit of the Kakapo. I just think it's a funny staff and I like it. Um. Okay, does anyone need... Uh, some people could probably stand to have some better helmets. No, I don't know. Um, let's... Uh, I'm going to have a quick look at what the storage is. So it seems to me... Oh, maybe that's where my shift clicking went. So, like, if I shift click these, yeah, they just kind of go to storage. So, you know, this just lets you store a bunch of stuff. I'm not sure uh, what kind of, like mechanics or, or how that like plays in the long term i'll do i'll do one more if you're wondering by the way like how this becomes a roguelike like when you do lose all your dwarves you do have to start from scratch um which you know is kind of a bummer but like you know uh, i think it's fine and it plays so casually i don't really care about the meta progression like i don't care about how far i got i don't really care of you know like i don't even see a tree of like uh, you know, or a, a road path of like, oh, you almost made it to the big bad. You know, none of that is true, um, which is kind of nice. I, I kind of, you know, like I've, I've been vocal about this, but I, I, I don't necessarily need that kind of progression. Um, and I guess because I don't, because there's less weight or a pressure to like quotation marks win, um, it really doesn't matter to me if I don't. And it also doesn't matter to me if I got some more points to do better next time. So we unlocked the tavern. Let's have a quick look at that after we pick our... Let's take another Boots of Speed. That's... How unique could it be? I have two of them already. Um, let's go to the Halls Tavern. Store additional dwarves in the tavern and distribute beers amongst them to increase their XP. Interesting. So what, if I put this dwarf here... Brawl. What can I like shift click them? No, I can't. Dev. QOL, please. No, it's fine. So 
But like, what if I put them all... Oh, that gives me a cleaner readout of them. Right, I forgot about that. Oh, you need at least one person on your team. So what happens if we hit brawl? Oh, I see. They're brawling each other. So I just like... <laughs> I just put all the dwarves on like one team. So like if it, let's go back to tavern. So like let's put a couple of these dudes and I want to like train up. I just I now have this level one dude, right? So I want to train up to eight to nine and uh, we'll put them. Uh, we'll, we'll make it a little bit unbalanced so that they're up against higher level dudes. So this should be fine. Let's see how this goes. Uh, okay, so they steamrolled pretty pretty hard But I assume this means that they get some experience Did they get some experience deserted battles fallen I'm not exactly sure what the what the play is there But I'm interested to find out um, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here. Uh, if you have enjoyed this definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this so You'll find a link in the description for dwarves glory death and loot um, If you want to try and, and pick it up, it's on sale currently uh, it should be for the next couple of weeks So uh, I assume it's still on sale uh, I think this game's a really fun little like, you know in between thing like, you know lunch break kind of game um, I think it's uh, like got a lot of depth so you can like really focus on it if you want um, but it's the kind of game I would, I would enjoy much more like as a casual kind of side thing. Um, and I, I really enjoy what it's doing. So if, uh, you know, let me know what you thought of it in the comments, if you've played it and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.